Welcome back. There is no place you go to around the world where you will not hear both those in leadership and those that are being led talk about education at one point or the other. Whether it's where the standards are falling or where the standards are rising. There are people who always talk about the children not going to school or the ones who talk about their children in school and what they are doing with their school. But in Nigeria, at every point in time, you would always hear that conversation around education standards or no standards, failing exams, or no, Larry is laughing, or no failing exams. From the preschool to primary to secondary or post-primary to, to tertiary. tertiary, about the same thing, falling standards, giving room to private institutions to blow them while the public institutions that produce some of those in leadership today most of those in leadership okay produced most of those in leadership today are going comatose what's the way forward okay so in the studio to help us look at all of this we we'll begin from our Abuja studio we have Lawrence Onoja Commissioner for Information Banner State thank you for joining us And then here in, our, in Lagos studios, we have Yami Fayami, education expert, and Kairi Salako, an educationist. Thank you both for joining Thank us. You. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's, um, let's start off with Mr. Noja in our Abuja studio. Mr. Noja, the standard of education in the country, that's one conversation that has been like going on for years. I mean, when was when did 6334 start? I think that was 1990 Okay, right from 1988 when the 6334 system was introduced, it was about improving the standards of education. But it looks like as the years continued to advance, the standard appeared to go down. So oh, we're going mostly. this way. Why is that so? Um, thank you very much. Uh, well, uh, in the terms of standards of education, I think um, one of the problems that um, Nigeria has faced thus far has been because of the neglect in the education system as a whole. Um, if you look at even the books, the materials that we use, the infrastructure supporting uh, um, the infrastructure supporting education even itself has been in a, in, a, in a rapid state of decay, you know. So there, there's a lot that um, government is going to need to do um, to also um, improve and encourage um, enrollment into schools and also uh, provide the enabling environment for education to thrive in general. Thank you. Uh, Yami, there are those who say it's not just neglect. Some say it's about that crave for paper qualification. So at all costs, I need to get this. So that's what a lot of people have been going after, not concerned about in terms of like what I'm getting in, but more like what I have here. Okay, I mean, uh, you know we're discussing education, not schools. Not schools. <laughs> so when people say the schools are bad, uh, that means you don't know the difference between education and school. Secondly, certificates come from school. So we're still discussing education, not schools. I always try to make that distinction because that's the challenge of education in Nigeria. I mean, if you check the budget of the Ministry of Education, it's all allocation to schools. The world started educating people without schools. Schools came as a result of the fact that the institutions to educate people did not have the capacity any longer. And today, I mean, if you check the SDG goals, it did not talk about schools. It talks about lifelong learning. So what has happened to us as a country is that we seem to have deliberately uh, neglected uh, the education sector. And it comes from those that actively did it and those that passively supported it. So those that actively did it were either governors or head of states or presidents who did not provide the right incentive, who did not do the right policies, for example, on the one hand. But there was also the connivance and the silence of the majority of us who decided to create an alternative reality. So a public school, I dare say that most of us here might have gone to a public school. I went to a public secondary school. 
I went to public secondary, I went to a public university. Now, what has happened to many of us is that we have created an alternative reality and sent our own children to private schools. Unfortunately, the rate of release of graduates from the public school is more than the private school. So what happens to the populace eventually is that the quality is reducing because we're creating new realities against it. So the question of our paper certification arises because we're talking school. But assuming that's even the case, as long as the system emphasizes certificates, remember, certificate is evidence you attended school, not that you learned. Let me ask you a question <laughs> arising from that. Can you get education outside school? Oh yes, Definitely. I mean, how did how did a boy go to school in Abel Kota and become a Nobel laureate in English? Mm -hmm. How did somebody go from Jamaica and become the reference point for reggae singing in English language? Mm -hmm. A school is one of the medium for education. Okay. And what has been found in today's world? It's not world, the only one. It's not the, but what has been found in the only one that the effectiveness of a school as a, a medium for education is mm -hmm. determined by what happens before school, early child. If a child stays mm -hmm. with an educated parent mm -hmm. who exposes the child to learning.